from the NICU, and I'm here today with Warner Thomas, our uh, president of the Ashner Health System. And um, so I'm here to interview him. And uh, Dr. Ginsburg says that this should be a great year for you, since um, I understand that you're Boston Red Sox. I am a Red Sox fan. <laughs> yeah, Harley and I yeah. constantly go back and forth. So yeah, yes. go go Red Sox. It yeah. was a good year. Yeah. So I, mean, I guess they should have grown a beard for this. You know. Yeah. <laughs> so, so anyway, I think he's still um, pining the loss. Yeah, so. I, I'm sure he's not too happy. But I don't think the Yankees going to be good next year either. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, <laughs> just pass that on to Harley. Okay, I will. Or Harley, yeah. Uh -huh. Yankees next year. No, <laughs> it's going to be Red Sox again. So what excites you the most about this women's move? You know, I, I think the exciting thing about it is I, I really think it's going to be a fantastic service and space for women to deliver their babies in. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for the NICU move because we really haven't had a chance to renovate the NICU for, you know, 15 or so years now. And it's just going to be a fantastic space, a fantastic environment, and really allow us to provide a very different service for women and children than we've had previously. I mean, mm -hmm. we've done a great job here at OMC. We've made some renovations here at OMC, but I think this is just going to be state-of-the-art and incredible. Yes, it's a much-needed move, so very excited too. So what does this move help, how does this move help the community of New Orleans? Well, I think it's going to help in, in a variety of ways. One, um, I, I think we are going to have a, a much better place for, for local women to want to deliver their babies. I think it's going to be a new and different experience, which will be exciting. I think the other thing is we're going to see more women and children being referred to us from around the state and around the region. I mean, we've always been a referral center, but with everything that we're doing, you know, in pediatrics, in our, in our maternal fetal medicine area, I think you'll see more and more people coming to New Orleans and really seeing New Orleans as a healthcare hub and Ochsner as a vehicle to, to help make that happen. The other thing, frankly, is we're going to create jobs. You know, we are the largest private employer in the state of Louisiana. And by, you know, delivering more babies, you know, by having more neonatal uh, intensive care transfers and more neonates in our NICU, we create more jobs, employ more people, and help more families. So I, I really, really view that as a real positive for the state and for our whole team. Yes, yes. And what do you feel is the most important uh, for physicians and staffs to be aware of as we make this move on December 1st? So I guess the thing I would think about is is whenever you go through big change like this, there's going to be some things that don't work. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, even though everybody's done all the planning and hours and hours and we've done the mock move and we've tried to think of everything, inevitably some things won't go right. Mm -hmm. and, and I think we all have to understand that will happen and roll with the punches work through the change, know that we're all going to kind of work together to make it right. I always say, um, one of our physicians said that, uh, a saying, you know, make change work for you. And, you know, versus fighting it, let's make this work for our patients, let's make it work for our employees. And I think the other thing we need to realize is, not only is this great for you know, our women's area in the NICU, but it's going to open up significant additional beds at Jefferson Highway for us to care for more patients that can't get here today. We don't have any room for them. So I think we have to think of the literally hundreds of other people that are going to be able to come to Jefferson Highway to get cared for that we can't care for today. And I think that's great. But, but my advice would be, you know, some things will go wrong, work through it, keep a sense of humor, yes. and know that we're going, to, we're going to do the best we can and do great things for our patients at the end of the day. And I know on the NICU's perspective that we have um, our entire staff working on December 1st, which is you know well over 100 nurses. Wow. So, um, and I know we've practiced mock moves several times, and um, we are, uh, have all kinds of training classes for our staff. So hopefully we are well prepared and it will go well. I, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely confident. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys have just thought of everything and, <laughs> and have gone through it, and it's... I mean, the thing is, we've never done anything like this before. Yes. We've never moved, I mean, this yes. large a service. So yes. it's new, it's exciting, probably a little scary. Yes. Um, and, and, but you have to know that you'll, you guys are going to do a great job. We've got a great team working mm -hmm. on it. And, mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, if we're taking great care of patients and taking great care of each other, that's the important thing. 
And I do believe we have other area hospitals that are helping in our transport moves also. So, oh, great. Yeah. Baton great. Rouge General, we helped with theirs, and I believe they're coming to help with ours. Oh, great. Moves. And I think that collaboration is so important, and as you said, not just internally, but externally. Yes. So I think, you know, I know women's had a big move in Baton Rouge, you know, I think last year. Yes. So I'm sure we can learn from what they mm -hmm. did. And, you know, we all go through these challenging uh, projects, and the more we can help each other, the better off we'll all be. Yes. Well, thank you. I well, enjoyed meeting you. Well, thanks for your time, and, you know, good luck with the move, and, okay. you know, give my best to the whole staff, and congratulations. It's an exciting time for all of you. It's an exciting time for our patients that are heading to Baptist. Thanks. Thanks.